Welcome back to Moving to Hampton Roads. My name is David Tortellini. In today's video, we're going to explore Carlton Falls. This is the northernmost neighborhood in all of Newport News, located between Fort Eustis and Bush Gardens. So if you are transferring to Fort Eustis, this could be a really great target neighborhood for you as it's filled with both single family homes and townhomes. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Alrighty, well let's start off in one of the single family sections of Carlton Falls. And so the greater neighborhood is broken down into some smaller neighborhood names. So we are currently in uh, Carlton Cove and it's connected to Carlton Reach, but they're pretty much the exact same thing. So uh, I think they're separated by about 30 feet. <laughs> and so we're gonna take a look at, you know, this neighborhood. And so most of the homes in this neighborhood were built really around like 1996. So you are seeing kind of that second round of home ownership where you know most of the roofs have been replaced at this point most of the HVAC, HVAC has been replaced um, or at least it's on a second round so you know at this point 26 year old homes so um, but you know single family homes here there are about 200 single family homes and you know a good example of a recent sale right here behind me this is 132 viewpoint this recently sold for three hundred and seventy thousand. It is a four bed, three full bath, two thousand one hundred and seventy seven square foot home. Very nice uh, uh, renovation that was done in there. So a lot of beautiful uh, rehab work in there to get it looking great. And, you know, that is actually kind of a little rare. So we are seeing at this point a lot of nice updates being done, but full renovations in here are pretty rare. But you know, so 200 single family homes, 100 attached properties. And, you know, for the most part, what you're going to be looking at in the single family uh, homes are homes that are kind of between about 2,000 and 3,000 square feet. There are some that are lower. They do go down to about 1,600 square feet. So there are a few smaller ones. And then there are a couple of monsters. There's like a couple that are, there's one that's like 4,300 square feet. But for the most part, 2,000 to 3,000 square foot, you know, three bed, two and a half, four bed, two and a half bath type homes, four bed, three bath, stuff like that. That's going to be really common, but you do get a really good value here because this neighborhood is so far located in the northern part of Newport News. You're going to find that it's just not where everybody wants to be. So the value here is pretty darn good. Um, you know, here north of Fort Yusa. So we're probably five, six minutes north of Fort Eustis. And you'll find that this is a military heavy neighborhood. Um, this is an easy place to come move to if you are, um, you know, if you are gonna be stationed at Fort Eustis and you're looking for a, a really nice single family neighborhood. It's a quiet neighborhood. No one comes back here really that, that doesn't live here. You can't cut through here to go to any place else. And, um, and for the most part, this is an easy, solid place to move to. All right, we're gonna keep talking about the neighborhood, but I do wanna drive around this part a little bit, and then we're gonna head over to another section where we can see um, another recent sale in the neighborhood and talk a little bit more about Carlton Falls. Okay, so now we're in another part of Carlton Falls called the Highlands. And so this, and you, as you come into the neighborhood, it's on your left-hand side. And, you know, this, um, just the neighborhood, you can see it's it's got a very similar feel to where we just were. You know, Rivers, Cove, and, and the Highlands, it's a lot of the same stuff. So I'm not really quite sure when they were designing the neighborhood why they broke up the, the different parts into different kind of areas. They don't share they all share amenities and they they all have all the um 
same access to everything. So there is a really nice clubhouse in this neighborhood uh, with a really nice pool. Uh, unfortunately, it's covered right now because I'm filming this in uh, kind of early to mid October. So um, didn't get a, a good picture of it open for you. But um, so HOA dues here for single family homes are $90 a month. Um, give you access to that, grounds maintenance in the public spaces, things like that. And so just being here in Carlton Falls, there are also there are some waterfront options here because this is on what's called Skiff's Creek. And so Skiff's Creek is actually a reservoir that's part of the Newport News Waterworks system. So Newport News Waterworks uh, serves 400,000 people on the peninsula. So that is really the main drinking water for the vast majority of people who live in uh, you know, Newport News, Hampton, York County. And and uh, so that, that waterway, you can be on the water, but you can't build a dock and you can put in uh, non-motorized boats. So you can do kayaks, canoes, stuff like that, but you cannot do, um, you can't do jet skis, you can't do anything with a motor, anything that's gonna pollute that water because we have to drink it. So, you know, maybe that's for the best, <laughs> but um, really there are um, quite a few properties with really pretty views of the water. Um, for single family, there might actually only be about maybe 12 or 15. No, it's probably more than that. It's probably about 30 waterfront properties um, and the other 170 are interior, like what we're walking by right now. And then, so we're coming up on uh, a home that re recently sold here. This is 119 Highland. And so right here, this is this was a good deal. The buyers of this got this for 330000 and it's four bed, two and a half bath, uh, 2,124 square feet, I believe. So compared to where we just were over in uh, Rivers Cove, that's a steal, you know? I mean, they got that for 40 grand less and not really much of a difference in terms of neighborhood or anything like that. So um, you can see the prices can kind of range in here. I think the recent high sale was uh, 440,000. That was a 3,800 square foot home. It did have about a thousand square feet of walkout basement. So that is a unique feature that a few homes he have here because um, one, we don't have a lot of basements in this area. So if you are looking for a home with a basement, uh, Newport News is not the place to look for a home with a basement. You would m do much better up in Williamsburg, but you will find um, homes that maybe uh, are built onto a back um, kind of sloping down to maybe to water or something. Um, so like a little further down from here off of like Lucas Creek and things like that, you can find some walkout basements, but it is not all that common. Most of the homes in, the, in our area are on slabs or crawl spaces. So getting back to Carlton Falls. Yeah, so I mean, this is just another part of the neighborhood. Um, for this subdivision and you can see it's pretty big everything's really well maintained and um again these are like early to you know mid 90s builds so you are looking at a at homes that are kind of um just i think post their first transition so i think a lot of like you know between 2015 and 2020 there were a lot of updates done to these homes starting to see solar panels go on cool stuff like that so um really great neighborhood let's drive around this section a little bit and then let's go check out the townhouses Well, now we are down in the townhouse area, and there really are really duplexes, not necessarily traditional townhouses in the sense that there would be four or five of them in a row or anything. Um, but there are about 100 total units in this part of the neighborhood, and you know, you're going to see size ranges from about 1,200 square feet to about 2,000 square feet. And you know, you're going to get the, the two bed, two bath, up to you know, three bed, uh, two and a half bath. So you can get some really nice size homes in the townhouse area too. You know? So there's some really good, um, and then you've got to have a couple of different styles. So you can see across, 
and then you can see these kind of have a little different elevation to them and we when we use that word elevation we just kind of mean what the front of the house looks like so um you know overall um i've had several clients in this area and it's really just a good easy place to live very low maintenance there are basically no yards behind a lot of these because they all go to the creek so some of them have a good view some of them don't um you know uh but for the most part you can get into them they're in really good shape they have nice layouts some have a garage some don't so it's just going to be up to you what your needs are but there's really ample parking and then one of the things i like about this area in general is that there's plenty of additional parking like if you saw while we were driving around in the single family section um there was plenty of additional parking kind of in the cul-de-sac area now we've got a listing coming up here 123 obviously having furniture moved in um this one sold for 243 uh just uh, just recently because you can see they're getting some new furniture and um so three bed two and a half bath home 1554 for square feet this will give you probably a better view of it back here so 1554 square feet you know um has the driveway has the garage 243 so really in just a nice um size and in, in place and that's going to be pretty indicative of where the market is for these right now um that's probably you know high end of normal so we're seeing a lot in the anywhere in the high 220s to 240s right now for these townhomes um hundred dollar hoa here you know it's just ten dollars more than single family but you know one thing i just want to make sure i talk about is just the location of this it's because it's up north of fort eustace it, there isn't a lot around right here so you're not going to walk out of this neighborhood and go to a grocery store right away you're gonna have to drive down to like the northern denby area to get to a food line or and you're not going to get right away over to um, you, or you'll have to go up to, to Williamsburg. So I think that's kind of one of the benefits that I like about it since, you know, it's only 15 minutes to Colonial Williamsburg area. It's 10 minutes to Bush Gardens. It's seven minutes to Fort Eustis. You, then you can catch Fort Eustis Boulevard and head straight across and go all the way over to like the Naval Weapons Station if you're going to be there. So it isn't a convenient location for getting to certain things, but there's not a lot of like shopping or restaurants or really anything in this immediate area. So if that's something you're looking for, then this is probably not a good neighborhood for you. But if you're just kind of looking for that kind of quiet area where you can, you know, just have a good place to live and you don't mind just a little bit more of a drive, then, you know, this is an awesome spot for you. Um, chance you can get a place with a water view. Um, as I mentioned, it's not really a lot of water access, but water view, uh, beautiful nature around here because of the water. You're going to get like eagles and egrets and foxes and deer and all sorts of good stuff. So overall, um, you know, you're really just looking at a great opportunity to get what I think is pretty good value compared to what you might have to pay if you were in one of the busier parts of Newport News or if you moved over to your county or up to Williamsburg. All right, well, let's just drive around here a little bit. And then I think we're going to wrap up for the day. Well, there you have it. That's Carlton Falls. If you have any comments or questions, just leave those below and we'll reply to them as soon as possible. And my team and I are on standby waiting to help you with your move to Hampton Roads. So don't wait and give us a call, shoot me a text or an email, and we would love to work with you. In the meantime, like this video and share it with anyone you know who may be making a move to the area. And then subscribe to this channel so you can be the first alerted to our other videos for other neighborhoods and other things going on in Hampton Roads. Again, my name is David Tortellini. Thanks so much for watching.